I'll show you the difference between tasting a MOSFET on the board and outside the board. This is the most MOSFET used in electronics. So make sure you stay tuned to master testing these MOSFETs on the board and outside the board. Because 100% you will encounter a problem due to this MOSFET. Because as I told you, this MOSFET belongs to the most used MOSFET in electronics. And to make this video complete guide, I'll show you also how to test this kind of MOSFETs that we find in the desktop motherboard. And also 8P MOSFETs that we find on laptop motherboard. So let's get started. But please don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, I can be your mentor. All links in the description. Okay, let's begin with this MOSFET first. Of course, you have to select the diode mode on the multimeter. You can use any multimeter you have, no problem. And of course, I'm going to teach you how to test this MOSFET and also we're gonna find and identify if this MOSFET is N-channel MOSFET or P-channel MOSFET. I'll show you everything. First, let's check the MOSFET outside the board. Of course, this kind of MOSFETs always we find the gate in the side drain source. And note that the drain here is the same as this one here. As you can see, we get continuity because this terminal connected to this terminal. So, of course, you have to discharge the MOSFET first and then let's put one probe here on the drain. The second one here on the source, we get a reading about 258 on the multimeter. Let's swap the props. This time, the red probe here on the drain, the black probe on the source, no reading. Means what? Means this MOSFET is N channel. What about testing the MOSFET on the board? Let's find out. The same one probe here on the drain the red probe on the source okay we get already this is good if we swap the props so this time the red probe on the drain the black probe on the source we get another reading this is confused okay let's make it easy for you okay let's test these two in the same time so the black probe on the drain the red probe on the source we get already Okay, here also we get a reading, no problem. But if we swap the props, let's begin with this one here outside the board. Red probe here, black probe on the source, no reading. But this time here for this one here, we get another reading. This is why, my friends, you have always to avoid testing MOSFETs and all electronic components on the board if you are not professional please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more PCB way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron they can even assemble your PCBs for you that's the PCB way now back to the video but for me for example I can't test any compound on the board and I can figure out and know if it is good or not but as a beginner Always remove the MOSFET or any compound from the board and test it outside to get the right results. But please put in mind that once you didn't get a short like this, means the MOSFET is good. So now it's time to test this MOSFET, this kind of MOSFET. Of course, here we have gate, drain, source. Okay. Of course, as I told you, this pin here is connected to this side. No problem. So let's check between source and drain, we get already amazing. If I swap the props, 
we get the same reading. This is good MOSFET. Do you want to prove? Even if we get a reading in both sides, this one remain good. But if you want the accurate result, you have to remove it from the board. But the surprise here, my friends, is that those kind of MOSFETs, neither chipset or the CPU are totally different in terms of testing on the board. Look, one probe here on the source, another here on the drain. Do you see? We get a low reading. Look, after that, the reading turns to a high reading. So this is very normal and this means the MOSFET is 100% serviceable. Let's even check this one here near the CPU. This is basically for the CPU. So one probe here in the drain, another in the source. You see, low reader. This is normal. This is not a shot. If I swap the props, you see, same reader. But the most correct and accurate testing is to test it outside the board. Now it's time to check HP MOSFET. For HP MOSFET, we have four pins for drain, three pins for source, and this pin is for the gate. How I know this? Because we have this dot here, and this white line means these three pins are for source. We can even check one from here and check, as you can see three pins connected together but this one is not connected those are not connected and also those here are connected together look one two three four okay so this is three source so if we want to check this MOSFET one probe on the source another on the drain we get a ready okay if I swap the probes also we get a ready this is basically a good MOSFET once I didn't, I didn't get a shot like this means this one is a good MOSFET but if you remove it from the board you will get a ready in just one side so remember the good way to test electronic component is outside the board because on the board you can know if the component is good or not but you can't know if it is N channel MOSFET or P channel MOSFET unless you use the lot number or the reference. I hope you understand the difference between testing MOSFETs on the board and off the board. So please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and for anyone who wants to accelerate learning all links in the description.